So basically, the reason we have move amount is if we didn't have that and we move the gun, it's going to move the same speed. It's going to move um, exactly the same as the mouse itself. The speed we move the mouse, and we don't want that. We want to have a little delay, so it's like following the mouse, x axis and the y axis. So it kind of gives it a, like a realistic effect, and that's the line of code that makes that happen. Now we need the same thing for the y axis as well. So just copy this line, and paste it underneath it and change this to y axis and change this to y axis as well now save it now we've got those two done now now we're going to use the I'm missing a variable actually hold on let's go back on top let's define a new variable quickly let's call it public um, var new gun pos or pose whatever you want to call it position basically short and it's a vector free as well save that now I'm going to explain why we need that so we'll put here new gun pose the reason we need this is because we're going to we're going to be changing the vector of the gun's position so it's no longer going to be in its default position so to do that after you put your variable put an equal sign and put new vector free so we're giving it new positions if I'm confusing you guys really sorry just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you and um, what we're going to do is we're going to put open bracket and we're going to say we get the default position default position dot x and we want to plus that with our x axis on the mouse which is what's it called move on x move on x there we go comma and we're going to do the same for the y axis so default <coughs> position dot dot y and we're going to plus that with our y mouse axis so move on y and as for z axis it's completely dead when it's using it so let's just put default position dot z and then close bracket save it okay brilliant now we've got the new position set up for the gun now we need to start applying it to the gun itself so now we're going to use our gun variable we created which was a game object so it not so it knows what game object is going to be moving so gun dot transform and we're going to be moving the local, changing the local position. So dot local position equals vector three dot lerp open bracket. It's going to ask for your first vector three, which is going to be our guns transform local position again. So gun dot transform dot local position. Right, so once we'd um, got the game objects transform, we then want to put the new position it's going to be moving in. So it's going to be our new gun pose, which is new gun position. And then put comma, and then we're going to give it a speed it's going to be moving in. So the move speed. And we're going to times that by time dot delta time close bracket save your script go back to unity okay so now if we run it the gun should be moving when we move to the left and if we look up there we go perfect 
But what if someone doesn't, you know, doesn't want it? They just want to leave the gun the way it was. So we should truly make a boolean which allows you to enable it. And later on, it could be set as an option value. So if they want to turn it on, they play the game. They can. If they want to leave it off, they can. Let's go back into our script, and we want to find a new variable on the top. So public var on and off, not and just put off. And it's boolean. It's a boolean. And I'm going to set its default value as false save that and on the start function I'm gonna set on and off to equals true now if it's true we want our gun to make the movements so if on and off is equals equals to true then open bracket sorry do the movement else open bracket close bracket else on off equals false so if it's equal f equals to false we want to leave it in its default position so if we go in and we say <coughs> instead of the new position let's set it back to its default so default position there we go save it off and this should work perfectly let's run it there we go perfect as you can see this variable was enabled in the beginning and if I turn it off at the moment you can see the gun moves with the mouse if I turn it off it's gonna go back to its default position and stay there this time yeah guys that's how you make the gun movement and I'm going to be uploading the C-Shop version next. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank some people who have been visiting my website. It's been going pretty good so far. Getting some decent views. And yeah, thank you. I'm going to be uploading some stuff down there. Free assets and etc. Uh, all the updates are there. I just mentioned that I'm going to make this and upload it somewhere between 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock UK time. Or sooner than that. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.